Hi guys, welcome back to Urban Treats, where we show you easy recipes you can make at home. Today we are making a traditional Austrian bread roll. This one is called Kaiser Semmel, and when I was a kid, I probably had one of these each and every day. They're perfect for a side dish for any meal, for breakfast with some jam or honey or butter, um, or simply as a sandwich, you know, just add some cheese, some ham, and they're just absolutely delicious. Now, I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let's get started. The first ingredient we're going to add is water. I have 200 ml of water here and this water is warm. It's around 22 to 23 degrees. So try and keep it within that temperature. If that's your room temperature, great. If not, microwave it a little bit, but be careful. Don't go over 25 degrees because you might damage the yeast. Let's add this into our bowl. Then we add in the yeast. I'm using dry yeast today, but you can use fresh yeast, of course, as well. And as always, the ingredients are in the description. We add one teaspoon of sugar, so that's about five to six grams of sugar, and one teaspoon of salt. We add 15 grams of butter, that's a tablespoon of butter and I'm using unsalted butter. You can use salted butter, but I prefer to control the, the amount of salt in all my recipes. So I always use unsalted butter and I add as much salt as I need. We add the milk. So this is just full fat milk. Again, room temperature, 22 to 23 degrees, and it's about 50 ml. And last but not least, we add the flour. So I'm using a zero zero flour, which is an all purpose flour. If you can get a 700 flour, then that works great too. But in any case, zero zero flour will work fine. So add that in here. And then add it into the mixer. Here we go. And we attach our dough hook. So here's my dough hook. and we mix this on the low speed, lowest setting of your mixer for three minutes. After three minutes of netting, you should already have a good dough, but this dough needs a lot more netting. So what we're gonna do next we're gonna net it for another nine minutes at a higher speed. Whenever you net dough in your stand mixer, make sure you check the manual on the recommended speeds because if a dough is a little harder than usual, then it can easily burn out the motor of your mixer. Be careful. If you don't have a hand mixer, of course you can net this by hand, but it's gonna take a bit more time. So we'll put that back in here and we'll give it another nine minutes at a higher speed. dough is ready and you can tell because it's really nice and smooth and we can now proof it for the first time so for that I'm gonna put it in a glass bowl I'll just round it up a little bit I'll put a little bit of flour of it so it doesn't crust up and it doesn't stick to the bowl Next, we cover the dough with a bit of cling film or this membrane. You can use a kitchen towel as well if you, if you want. And we store it in a nice warm place where we let the dough rest and grow for about 20 minutes. We need about 25 to 28 degrees for the dough to proof. So if you don't have a warm spot somewhere in your house, then switch on your oven for a few minutes at the lowest setting, like 50 degrees if you can, um, and then switch it off let it cool down to under 40 and then put the dough in for 20 minutes and let it rise. The dough has proved for 20 minutes and you can see it's grown. It's about double in size than it was before. So next we're gonna portion this 
and then we're gonna proof it one more time before we put the final shape on and put it in the oven. Let's get this out of the bowl. Here we go. Put a little flour on our surface. And let's quickly weigh it to see how big each portion is going to be. So the total weight here is 785 grams and we want nine portions. So we'll just divide that equally by nine. That's approximately 85 to 87 grams for each roll. So let's just start with the first one. We can roll this out a little bit. Here we go. A little bit more. Perfect, 85 grams. For now, we'll just portion them and we'll set it aside and then I'll show you how to shape them. We have nine equal dough balls, approximately 85 to 87 grams each. To shape your Kaiser Semo or your bread rolls, you need to make sure that your surface is not well floured because we want it to be a little bit sticky. We need to make some pressure um, between the dough and your hand to form a ball. So what you do is this, have your surface clean. Um, if it's too slippery, then you can spray it with a very little bit of water just to make it a little bit sticky. Take the dough ball and fold it in itself. So just tuck under and then with your thumb, fold over until you get this little ball shape. You can see we almost have a ball shape here. And on the bottom you have this little rose pattern, but don't worry because we're gonna take care of this in the next step. Press down, start with a little light pressure and then form like a little claw with your hands. You see, I'm just cupping it and I'm, I'm pressing down with the palms. I'm, as I rub forward, I'm putting in pressure into the dough and it's really tightening up the dough and creating this tension in the dough that you need for the dough to equally rise when you bake it. And you can see I now have a perfectly round bread roll. Now we're going to give it the traditional Kaiser Semmel shape in just a minute, but first we have to let them proof one more time. Then we're gonna stamp them or I will show you how to fold them and then it's time to bake. So, you can see I have lined my baking tray with a kitchen towel, and this is a little bit damp, and I'm just going to add a little bit of flour so it doesn't stick, like this. And this is for the final proofing. Perfect. And then just place your bread roll on it, give them some good distance because they will grow a little bit more in the next 20 minutes as well. Now I'm gonna finish the remaining rolls, and I'll see you after the proofing. The bread rolls have proofed and they are ready for the next step. And for the next step, you're going to need a couple of things. So one, um, one of these water spray bottles, because when we bake the bread, we want to create steam in the oven and we want to keep it moist. So have one of these. And also I have a little oven safe baking dish, which I've filled half with water. And we're going to place that in the bottom of the oven. So it will constantly create steam during the baking process. The bread rolls are ready and you can see they've blown up nicely and they are ready proofed. You can tell because they bounce back when I press them. Now let's flour a little bit our tray and then we're going to put the pattern on our bread rolls or Kaiser rolls. Now you can use semolina or flour. Um, to line the tray. I'm using flour today, but both work well. Okay, let's grab a roll. How beautiful is this? Hmm? What you will do, you'll just stamp the bread roll. I'll show you how to do it now, but make sure you do this after proofing the rolls, because otherwise the pattern will break up um, when they grow in the oven. Place the bread roll on the tray and then simply press down and make the pattern on the row. And that's it.
Bread rolls are ready and stamped and they can now go in the oven. But before they do, we're gonna spray them with the water and make sure that they're nice and moist. And when we put it in the oven, we're gonna spray the water a little bit in the oven as well to make some more steam before we close it. So let's do that now. Now, while we preheated the oven at 220 degrees, before I place the bread into the oven, I've lowered the temperature to only 200 degrees. And now we're gonna spray a few puffs in here, make some steam, and close it up. And that is how you make Viennese bread rolls or Kaiser Semmel. And now, as always, it's time for the taste test. So they are quite nice and crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside, but let's see how they taste. just as I remember growing up in Vienna. Really, really nice. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. We are back next week as always. So if you want to be up to date with any new videos, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell button. I'm going to finish this bread roll and I'll see you next time.